Hey guys, do you mind if I ask you a question, possibly quite personal? Do you like the photographs that you take? If you had to think about the answer to that question, or if it's an emphatic no, then I've got a few theories as to why that might be the case, which I'll share with you a little bit later on. What are your bets on what that sky is going to do? The forecast wasn't that great, but I did notice as I perused the satellite maps of the cloud coverage and the projections for the cloud that there would be gaps on the horizon round about the right distance away to create some nice backlit colour for these clouds. And so I decided to head out. As always, I've made sure that I've got the old big zoom on for this early portion of the sunset. Because the fun and games for me at this time of night is photographing the beach life, the people, the waves, the birds, whatever else makes its way through my viewfinder. Okay, near perfect conditions to photograph these guys on the waves because the sun is setting over there and it's lighting up the face of these waves and there's some really nice faces this evening so we should be able to get some nice shots I should really be closer but I've got some pretty good reach on this 100 to 400 in a minute I'm going to go down to the water's edge and shoot more parallel to the waves rather than at this angle. But the advantage of standing on this dune is, of course, I have a bit of height. Some nice golden light on the sand here and some people silhouetted. And we have surfers. Unusually for this beach, the wind is coming from the northwest. Normally it's northeasterly. It's coming from the northwest at the moment. Do you remember that Guinness advert from years ago about the surfers? Whenever I see waves like that, I think about that advert. Haven't had a decent swell here in a while, or at least not one that I've been down to photograph. Woo! Yes, I think the theme for this evening and the photos I'm producing here are definitely gonna be surf related. Although that sky's looking vaguely promising, so who knows? Maybe get a nice combination of the two. Well now, I've got some beautiful colour appearing on the horizon. It's been taking lots of photographs of the surface down the beach, and I thought I'd just give it a second for the conditions to change a bit before I take some more, so I don't end up with 700 photographs that all look the bloody same. All the birds are lined up in a little row down the beach and I'm pre-focusing on one in the middle and then getting down super low to frame them nicely with the golden sand.
is quite enough of that. There's a bit of uh, color on the reverse, which is good. Some nice pinks up there and some fluffy, vaguely stormy looking clouds. I don't think storms are predicted, they just look stormy. Now, you remember at the start of this video, I was asking you if you liked the photos you were taken. And the reason I asked the question is, uh, I think that photography has become super competitive and that it's entirely possible to take photographs for all the wrong reasons, which is taking them for the viewer, not for yourself. Now, the reason I bring it up down here is because I must have taken 50,000 photographs down at this particular location. And you could say that that shows a staggering lack of imagination on my part. Maybe I'm just a bit lazy and this is convenient. Whatever the reasons, it'd be easy to criticize it. But the point is, I don't give a shit. I don't take the photos for the viewer, I take them for myself. I come out here to the beach for my mental health and for the enjoyment of landscape photography. And if other people like my photographs, then that of course makes me happy, but it isn't the main reason that I take them. I take photographs entirely for myself. And if I never had to share them ever again with anyone, I'd still be happy because I'd look at my own photographs and have happy memories of it. Think about the way I composed the shot, the way I took it, the circumstances, the way the weather was on that occasion, and all sorts of other good stuff. just walking down the beach a bit because there are hundreds of birds congregated down here. the central theme of this video I urge you one and all my fine photographer friends to stop trying to be a people pleaser take photographs for your own satisfaction because I strongly believe that when you start taking them just to please yourself you'll take better photographs stop stressing about some you know, anonymous viewer out there on the internet. I'm thinking about all the sarcastic comments that they'll make about your photographs and just enjoy taking photographs. This is bloody awesome. You know, you're out in nature capturing these fleeting microseconds of time that nobody else has seen. Nobody else is capturing them, only you. As I carefully make my way down this dune and try not to snap my bloody ankle. I would ask you, if you enjoyed this video, to hit the old like button. There I go, nearly broke my ankle, caught it on the flipping dune grass. Jeez. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And do please leave me a comment too, if you like me making these videos. Even if they got no views at all, I'd still crack on. All right, guys, 
I can hear a very cold beer calling to me in the distance. Andy, Andy, come and drink. The glistening cool surfaces are waiting for you. So I'm going to go. Till the next time, guys. Ta-ta.